of the moment. When we had this, the smart roadster on earlier in the year, we criticised it for its miserly boot space. Barely enough room, we reckoned, for a tray of potatoes. Well, it seems that the Germans have been listening. Trouble is, I think they might have got hold of the wrong end of the stick. I mean, yeah, they have looked at the miserable boot space and then they've filled it with another engine. The ordinary car has a three-cylinder 700cc turbo in here, but now we've got two engines welded together to create a V6. And because each brings its own turbo, it's a V6 by turbo. Smash it. This all is strictly necessary. I mean, the ordinary car is no slouch. It feels fantastic. Well, because the engine count has been doubled, the 0 to 60 time has been halved. Now it's under six seconds, and the top speed nudges 140 miles an hour. So, to answer my own question, yes, it is necessary. Very. Especially when it feels like this. <laughs> This machine is the work of German tuning house Brabus, a company with a history of taking Mercedes cars that are already fast and making them much, much faster. Tom Cruise has a Brabus. So does Michael Schumacher. So does Brad Pitt. There is no price list at Brabus. Every year they sell a handful that touch the half million pound mark. But Brabus do like to give you a bit more than just power for your money. The Smart has got chrome and leather everywhere. Bucket seats and harnesses and a fire extinguisher nicked from an oil rig. And it looks good too with shark fin grills on the side and a spectacular view of that unique engine. But what Brabus give with one hand they taketh away with the other. They've nicked the air conditioning and the radio for packaging reasons. What? In case they want to stick another engine in there? And there's your boot space, full of fuel tanks. So, there's the packing done. Bloke heaven. Oh, foam rubber, that tank, like a Formula One fuel tank. So, let's empty it. Shouldn't take long, it now produces 218 brake horsepower per tonne. That is the same as a Porsche 911 Carrera 4. It's got the little smart paddle shift gearbox, which is all right, actually. It's not too bad, as long as you remember where the paddles are to shift. And there's no traction control either. Apparently, they haven't been able to reprogram it yet for all that extra go. Good, I say. <laughs> What's amazing is just how much low-down power you get. It's got huge grunt. It feels like a much, much, much bigger engine than it really is. It's like a, a bottle of sports car concentrate. Now for the bad news. This particular car cost £330,000 to build. The good news, though, is that Brabus will be making a roadster next year. True enough, it probably won't have this two-engine business, but it definitely won't have that price tag either. Then again, Brabus are always open to commission, so if you're feeling flush... £330,000 yes. strikes me as being a bit steep for a plastic... Car. It is a bit steep for a small car. In actual fact, I mean, they've only made nine or ten of those to show off what they can do. It is very expensive. Are they going to do it for real? They will do. Don't know exactly what that'll be like, but it'll still be expensive, I'm sure. Right. So what, that's the standard car, and yeah. that is, I think, 14 grand. There roughly. are thereabouts, yeah. It's good. I like it. You like it? Yeah, I do. Would you have one? No. Why no, not? I'm going to stick to our guns on this, James, because I, it is a cracking little car, and I'm sure that will be when they make one, but it's still too expensive, just too much money. He's right, you know.